I wanted to tell you that the Cafe El Aguila that says it's a coffee for Latinos doesn't really tell you much about the kind of coffee because Colombian coffee tastes different from Panamanian coffee, tastes different from Brazilian coffee because they each have their own method of harvesting and blending and roasting the beans that go into making the coffee. We are trying a traditional Latin American coffee when we try Cafe El Aguila, but I don't know if it's Cuban or Mexican or exactly which country it's from. So that's my thoughts, but we'll try it and it looks good and oh my gosh, it's cooking over there on the stove, it smells good too. So I can't wait to show you what it looks like when we pour it out. All right, the coffee is done and the espresso is made. I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like when it comes out of the cup. Oh, just look at that. It's that rich color and oh, the aroma is so good. It's strong and smooth and even when you pour it in there, it looks smooth. It just smells so good. I've got my cream over here that I'm going to add. So now we have the espresso. We're going to add the cream. Ooh, there it goes. So good. And now we taste it. Oh, wow. It has kind of an earthy flavor, almost like the beans were grown in a garden. So it has a lot of plant flavor to it. It tastes um, almost like a spinach or, or a leafy taste to it really. Um, it is very smooth. Um, it's very interesting flavor. Whether you try Cafe Al Aguila and get the Latino flair to your breakfast or you make it with your favorite espresso grounds. I hope you enjoy espresso with your next cup. There's a great big mystery.